I love being asked what it is that led me to become an uh, obstetrician gynaecologist. I can remember as a little boy um, one of the one of the earliest things that gave me intellectual trouble was why did some women fall pregnant? Why did some of my friends have more brothers and sisters? I had two elder sisters. Um, I had never seen my mum be pregnant and it intrigued me as to how that happened. So I used to ask mum, mum, why aren't you pregnant? And she used to tell me that it was just luck. You would, some people would just fall pregnant. And that concept of um, the luck or the fate involved didn't sit easily with me. Um, then as I grew up and I you know, learned about the birds and the bees, um, I grew up in a household where I had a, a very strong decision-making mother and two elder sisters. So I grew up in a female-dominated household and I often joke with my patients, uh, but I mean it in some seriousness, I have a pathological need to keep women happy. Hence my desire for obstetrics and gynaecology. <laughs> The great thing about this specialty is it's an area of medicine um, quite unlike others in that it is usually full of good news. Um, you're at people in the best time of their life. You're with them for the single greatest moment typically in their life. You get to share in the joy and excitement that it's not staged, it's not affected, it's genuine uh, and it's, it's, extraordinary. it's an extraordinary privilege. When people ask me about myself um, in the context of my professional career now, um, my mind goes back through a range of careers and a very winding path that's led me to this point. Um, not the conventional approach, but certainly one that I wouldn't trade for anything. So I'm um, the son of a sheet metal worker. I grew up moving through rural, regional Australia. And um, as a high school student, was confused about what I wanted to become and followed the advice of a school guidance counsellor who suggested I should do accounting, which I blindly followed and spent the next three years in misery doing a Bachelor of Business and became a Chartered Accountant. I then decided that I would follow uh, my own heart and I chose to pursue a career in the media and became a journalist, which gave me quite a degree of satisfaction for a little while. And then I got itchy feet again and entered federal politics and worked in politics for four years or so as a media advisor to a federal government minister and then a speech writer. Now, the thing that I'm most grateful for about the path that I was on was that that experience in politics led me to a refugee camp in Kenya and into a medical tent in a refugee camp in Kenya where it struck me that here was me and my boss effectively puncing around in suits thinking that we were going to make this profound difference to the people in those camps when really the difference was being made on the ground by the doctors in those tents. So I decided then that I would pursue a career in medicine. Um, I'm the proud father of three young children. Um, I have a, a lovely wife um, and a beautiful family life.